Hey guys! Oh, I have been waiting for October for a long time. Number one, I turned 19. Whoop, whoop. So excited for that. Number two, <laughs> um, when getting back into reading this past year, I started off with some thriller books because I know that that would keep me on my edge and what make me want to keep reading. Um, so I got into thriller books for like the first time and I freaking love it. I'm so bloody excited about them and yay. So October being Halloween, it's my thriller month. Yay. Okay. The amount of books I have that I want to read this month is ridiculous. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight books. Um, there are others that I really wanted to put in this list, but I was like, I'd rather read them um, at my own pace instead of trying to get through them. Um, and some of the books that I have here are quite large, so, uh, okay. First book, which is literally going to be the first book that I read because I promised my friend friend from work, Jimmy, lent me this book. It's his favourite. He says he can literally pick it up, open up to any page and just continue reading from there and know exactly what's happening with the story and he just loves it. So he lent me The Dead Zone by Stephen King. Thanks, Jimmy. Um, so yes, I'm very excited to read it and I've had it for a while now. I haven't read it because um, I had other books to read but I promised him it was literally going to be... Um, it was literally going to be the first book that I read <laughs> in October and I'm going to keep to that promise. So it's happening. <laughs> so that's book number one. This book I have had for a long time. <sighs> House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielski. Huge, large, weirdly written book. Um, so excited for this. May even be the second book that I read. It's kind of really large, so I really want to get through these large ones first. It's so freaking heavy. Like, jeez. Um, so yes, this is more of a thriller horror, but at the end people were like, oh yeah, it's like a love story too. So, yeah. Um, we'll see. I'm very excited to read this. Yay. <laughs> okay, so um I also got I also have the girl in six E, which looks really interesting. It's time to meet the killer next door. Looks really interesting, it's a little cute little book. So it's a smaller one. Um this one I'm actually really excited to read. Um because it's a tiny how many pages though is it? It's only 181 pages. Like, yes. <laughs> um, this is The Murder Farm by Andrea Marie Schnell. Schnell? I don't know how to pronounce it. You know I'm bad with pronunciation. Um, and I absolutely love this. It's so cute and it's just a green, dark green cover and it doesn't have its thing on but and it's really small and cute and I feel like it'd be a really good one so I could probably I could definitely read this in like one sitting so definitely gotta read that um <coughs> I've had a lot of these books for a long time because I just bought a bunch of thriller books I'm like I don't have time to read all these yet whoops anyway so this is first to die by James Patterson um it's the adrenaline fueled first novel in the Women's Murder Club series, which I thought was really cool that it's a woman's. Yeah, so I'll read you the back of this because it's got a, yeah, it's like the first in the series. Yeah, first to die. Okay. The Honeymoon Murders. As the only woman homicide inspector in San Francisco, Lindsay Boxer has to be tough, but nothing has prepared her for this brutal mani maniac who has begun a killing spree, slaughtering newlywed couples. 
Lindy is sickened by the death, but her determination to bring the murderer to justice is threatened by a personal tragedy. So she turns to Claire Washburn, a coroner, Cindy Thompson, a journalist, oh sorry, Cindy Thomas, a journalist, and Jill oh, Bernhard, Bernhard, an attorney for help with both cases. The Woman's Murder Club is born. So it's like these four women who are in um, this like justice, so you've got um, homicide inspector, a coroner, a journalist, and an attorney, and they're all women in <sighs> with the men's world, but like in a definitely jobs that are more men orientated and all of that, so I just know this is going to be great. It's like a whole series and it's got so much and I'm just so freaking excited. Yay. I'm so excited about all these books. Okay. Now this one, The Sisters by Claire Douglas. I saw this on my Pinterest feed quite a long time ago. Um, I thought it looked really cool. Um, the, it goes, um, The Sisters, one lied, one died. And I just feel like it's going to be like, ooh, interesting. So yes, oh, and it's got a nice feel to it, and like, look at that colour. I like that it has like a burst of colour there. Okay. Stolen by Lucy Christopher, um, which is actually really thin compared to my other books. Um, I, want, I bought this after watching Nye Reads and Smiles. Um, she was suggesting some thriller books and really liked this. This is in second point of view, so it's like a stream of consciousness. It's a letter from um, the girl who was kidnapped to um, her kidnapper. So that seems really interesting. So that, and last but not least, definitely not least, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Yes, I know. Oh my god, I haven't read this yet. Like, seriously. For someone who loves Thriller, I have not read this yet. Um, I have, however, watched the movie. I really enjoyed the movie. Um, and ever since, I've definitely wanted to read the book. I wanted to read the book before the movie, but me and was sitting there, and it was on Fox, and we're like, oh, let's watch this. I'm like, yeah, cool. And then I was like, I haven't read the book, but I was like, oh. So, yes. Um... So I've got it and I've had it for a very long time and I have yet to read it and I feel bad that I've yet to read it but I'm going to read it. So I promise I'll get through that. I have a lot of books. So I have a lot of books. Look at all these books that I have to try and get through this month. Um, I think I'll get through... <clears throat> I think I'll get through... Um, a lot of them actually because a few of them are small whereas two of them are really really large so that's kind of uh, um but thrill books keep me on edge um and my work for my sydney job is dying down so i'll have more time to read um and yeah it's gonna be great um other than that, what is in the month of October? Like I said, 19th birthday, y'all. So there will definitely be a birthday themed something video. I have no idea what it's going to be. Oh, and another book. Whoops. Ooh. Okay, unthriller related. And it's probably going to be like the second book that I read this month is going to be... Uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Children because the movie comes out on, it came out on the, like yesterday I think, um, like the last day of September anyway. Um, and I was supposed to read this book in September but I was sick and everything and I, I didn't have it on my list or anything but, um, but I, have it, I have the entire series actually and it's just a cute little hardback with this cute, it's got um, Miss Peregrine's signature there and yeah it's just adorable um, so yeah because I literally bought the series after watching the trailer I was like as soon as I saw based on bestseller 
novel, blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh my god, quickly get into like, um, Booktopia or... Where else do I buy books from? Book Depository. I'm like, oh my god, yes. And so I bought it and I haven't read it yet and I feel really bad. But there's all these books that I've bought, really want to read and haven't read yet and I always feel really bad that I haven't read them because I just love them so much. Anyway. <laughs> I do plan on reading this because I really, really, really want to see the movie. I'm so excited for it. Yay! Um, so I will, and yes. Um, again, what else for the rest of this month? So we have my birthday, my 19th birthday. Um, Halloween, guys. Halloween! And because it's going to be the 31st of October, as usual, because that's when Halloween is, I'm probably going to do... I don't know if you guys know this about me, but... I do some special effects hair and makeup, so I might do something really cool for my wrap up video. Hello. Um, oh, and I start a sign language course this month. I'm really excited for that. I only know a little bit right now. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be really cool. And yeah, so that's like my update. Welcome to October, guys. Um, have a reading tour. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.